as more and more Americans get their COVID shots, people across the country are going back to their doctors to catch up on routine tests delayed by the pandemic. But now doctors are finding a troubling surprise, false red flags for breast cancer. Medical specialists conducting mammograms on vaccinated women are seeing enlarged lymph nodes, which is a sign not only uh, that the vaccine is working, but that it could also be an indicator of cancerous cells. So it's a bit confusing. Dr. Lisa Ann Mullen is the Breast Imaging Fellowship Director at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and is here to talk about it. So this is quite fascinating. Um, first off, just explain to our reviewers how the COVID-19 vaccine could have an impact on lymph nodes, how it, you know, wh what the sort of fallout is and whether or not you're seeing that with some of your patients. Sure, well, thank you for having me this morning. Um, happy to talk about this. So basically um, the vaccine is being injected into the upper arm, the deltoid muscle of patients and uh, the lymph nodes in the underarm are reacting to the vaccine. So um, the lymph nodes in the underarm uh, drain the upper arm as well as the chest and part of the back and uh, the breast as well. Um, so it's the same group of lymph nodes, um, normal structures that are in everyone's underarm. So um, uh, when, when the, um, uh, lymph drainage comes to the lymph node, they're you know, causing an immune, immune response. And that's basically what we want. We want the vaccine to promote an immune response and start making antibodies and, and helping to protect us against um, the COVID-19 illness. Um, part of the issue is that when we do mammograms, some of those underarm lymph nodes can be included on the mammogram. Um, so if they're enlarged, we will see them on the mammogram. And that's, you know, not true for, you know, every patient. We see them for some patients and not for others. But when we do see an enlarged lymph node, um, we can, uh, you know, be concerned about that. It's one of the things that we look at when we're uh, evaluating mammograms. Now, when I think about enlarged lymph, lymph nodes, I think, you know, there have been times that I've been sick and, uh, you know, people have said, oh, check your lymph nodes. Um, but I've never heard about this affecting mammograms. I mean, does, does that also happen with other vaccines? I would presume that other vaccines work in a similar way, right? Yes, I, definitely um, that's, that's true. So I think there are two things that are important here. Uh, one is that uh, the types of the type of vaccine that has been used widely for um, uh, coronavirus is uh, is an mRNA vaccine. It's a new type of vaccine that um, hasn't been used before, and we're we're seeing a very prominent immune response to this vaccine, probably more than some of the other vaccines that were uh, maybe our bodies are a little more used to, such as the yearly flu vaccine. Um, so. Uh, that's one thing. It's a different type of vaccine. The second issue is mm. that uh, people are being mass vaccinated kind of all at the same time. So we're seeing more patients who have had a recent vaccine um, compared to some of the other vaccines. Um, it is true that in the fall months when people have uh, received a flu vaccine, we do sometimes see patients who have a slightly enlarged lymph node um, on their mammogram, um, if it's taken within a few weeks after their uh, vaccine. Um, but it, it, it seems to be less of an issue with flu vaccine. Um, sometimes we'll see a large lymph node in relationship to other vaccines such as Pneumovax or the shingles vaccine. So we do okay. see it with um, some of so the other vaccines. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. All right. No, that's good to know. Um, so uh, what are you telling women? Because um, I know, you know, you go for a mammogram and if there's any hiccup, um, chances are, you know, your follow-up appointment is weeks away. You're stressing out that whole time. Uh, what are you telling uh, women who, uh, you know, maybe their doctors did notice enlarged lymph nodes and they're kind of freaking out a little bit? Or women who, um, you know, got the vaccine, maybe they have a mammogram coming up. They, they, maybe they don't want to cancel because that means, you know, 
know, it's going to be another, it could be sometimes like four or five months before you can make a new appointment. What's your best advice to women? So basically for women with no symptoms at all, uh, just your typical screening patient um, coming for their routine checkup, we are recommending that they delay their um, routine screening mammogram by four to six weeks after their second uh, vaccine, or you know, if they're having the one dose uh, Johnson and Johnson vaccine, then um, uh, you know, it would be four to six weeks after that one, or four to six weeks after their second uh, vaccine. That's what we're choosing to do at our facility. Everyone is making their um, own decisions about this. Um, but uh, you know, we're, we're thinking that these uh, lymph nodes will go back down to their normal size after several weeks. We don't really have enough information mm -hmm. yet to know that that is true, but um, you know, that's what we're thinking right now. So we're asking women to delay just a little bit. Um, uh, what we're mm -hmm. doing at Johns Hopkins is asking patients at the point of scheduling, you know, if they've had a vaccine, if so, when, and which arm was, uh, was injected. Um, and we're counseling them that they could delay their, their mammogram if they choose, but they could also choose to go ahead and have the mammogram. So, um, you know, a patient, mm. patient is basically choosing. So that's for screening. For mm. diagnostic mammograms, we're advising women to just come on in. Um, we don't want them to delay if they have a symptom such as breast pain, a breast lump, or a nipple discharge, or if their doctor feels a lump. All right. Um, quickly before I let you go, um, men have lymph nodes too. Uh, and I understand, you know, because of the nature of the mammogram that it's sort of encompassing some of the lymph nodes so you can see it. But uh, I imagine that the vaccine is affecting the lymph nodes in men in the same way because that's the way the vaccine works. Um, are there any tests that are being thrown off in men? Um, so for men, we don't uh, perform uh, routine screening for breast cancer, their incidence is a, is a lot lower mm -hmm. than, than for women. Um, I have seen a few men come into the clinic because they have uh, swelling in the underarm and we'll see them in the breast clinic uh, for that symptom. So we'll do an ultrasound and find um, enlarged lymph nodes. And for those patients, we're recommending uh, usually a follow-up in about three months just to make sure that the lymph nodes go back down to the normal size. Um, there are some other tests that people are having, not necessarily screening tests, but in, in, um, in their routine medical care, if they're having a, um, let's say a CAT scan, anything that includes those lymph nodes. So it could be um, a CAT mm. scan of the chest, for example, a CAT scan of the neck, um, a shoulder MRI, um, any of those tests that actually include some of the lymph nodes may be affected because if the lymph nodes are large, then the uh, radiologist interpreting the test may be concerned and ask for additional imaging based on that. So those tests could affect men as well. All really good information, Dr. Lisa and Mullen. I think it's probably something that a lot of women don't find out about until they're sort of already going to their mammogram appointment or you know the the, the pre-interview. Um, and uh, at least they can make some sort of informed decisions. Thank you so much. Yes, you're very welcome. Thank you.